In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your iPhone, iPad, or iPod that can't be recognized by iTunes using iSkySoft iTransfer. This would be a very useful thing to do if maybe you're locked out of your device, you have the Apple screen that's stuck, you have the blue screen of death or the white screen of death. Any of these situations can be fixed with this process. So the first step, of course, is to go ahead and launch iSkySoft iTransfer. And after we've done that, we'll go ahead and connect our device to our computer. And once our device has connected and synced with the program, all we have to do is go over to the toolbox over here. And if we go down to other tools, we have one called Fix iOS or iPod. And this will basically fix anything that can't be recognized by iTunes. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to bring up a dialog which tells us we can fix our iDevices which can't be read by iTunes. And we can also fix an iPod which fails to load music. So we'll go ahead and click on Start Repair to get started. And if your device is recognized as fine, this is what you'll see. It'll say there's no problem, but if you do have a problem still, go ahead and click on Continue Fixing. And once you click on Continue Fixing, or you've actually fixed your device, it'll go ahead and tell you it's fixed your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. And we can just click on OK to close it, and now it should be readable with iTunes. And of course, you can go back in and fix as many devices as you want iSkySoft iTransfer makes it a very quick process to fix your iOS device. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you fix your iPhone, iPad, or iPod that can't be recognized by iTunes using iSkySoft iTransfer.